Hey guys, PatDune1979 here. I'm gonna bring to you today a quick review on my uh, one of my newest purchase, the uh, Kershaw Termite. This is a Rick Hinderer design, so um, I'm gonna try to make this review quick. Tell you my good points and my bad points about it, what I would like to see improve, and uh, if this this knife this knife is a good buy for you guys. So uh, hope you guys enjoy this review, and let's get started. So uh, this is the uh, Kershaw Termite. It's a 3.5 inch blade. It's got the uh, Spanto uh, patented, I guess, Spanto design from uh, Rick Hinder. It's a nice blade, a little bit in the lines of the uh, zero tolerance and stuff like that, but not really. Uh, the um, the zero tolerance is, uh, of course, better quality, better materials and stuff. As you can see, it's got the um, little make uh, a little stop bar uh, over travel stop pin right here so you get deep carry pocket that you can position on all four corners of the knife which is good and uh, you know a plus for this knife so this knife out of the box it didn't come super sharp I did have to put a little bit of work on the uh, crock stick but as you guys can see the lock up is pretty good right now with say maybe 40% lock up maybe even 50 let me look at it yeah about 50 percent and pretty good you know uh not as good as my kershaw tremor but you know it's not it's not bad uh there is a uh, jimping on top which is only aesthetic zero functionality on the jimping and uh, basically my overall assessment when i first got the knife was a score of 8.5 uh, after I've talked to you about uh, the points of the knife which I like and I don't like, um, I'm gonna maybe change the, that a little bit. So maybe gonna change the, the score my uh, first uh, first look uh, in the description box. So uh, the uh, frame lock mechanism is uh, pretty good. You know uh, the knife is strong. There's no blade play. Uh, the blade, the lock up is good. The blade centering is dead on perfect. I mean, you can't have better blade centering than that. So, as you guys can see, um, the flipper opens up quick. Nice flipper action assisted. Uh, you got a 410 uh, stainless steel on this side and a G10 on that side. It feels more like a far end though. It's pretty slippery. If it's G10, it's uh, it's uh, low grip G10. So. You get dual thumb stud, which um, you know you can open up the blade like that with a thumb stud. They got no uh, funky issues. They got no. Uh, they, they got a good purchase. They got a good grip. You can uh, flip the knife out like that. But since it is a flipper, it's easier to, to just go with a flipper mechanism. So uh, stuff I don't like about it is right here the um, the finger the uh, flipper action. Is a little bit short. I would like to see it a little bit longer and recessed uh, towards the inside of the uh, the fingers right here, towards the back, just a little bit to provide a better guard. Because right now, if you were to thrust or do anything into, let's say, heavy, a couple layers of cardboard, cardboard that you need cutting or just for general cutting tasks, you need to to press forward. The jimping is only aesthetic, and it does provide a little bit of a guard, but it's not a lot. If I compare this to my um, Enron, which I have in my pocket right now, I'm in it for today. As you can see, the uh, finger, the flipper action here is really, really much more. You know, it provides a better guard, a way better guard than the uh, than the termite. Let, let's look at the two because these are the two I want. I want to compare. As you can see, the guard from here and the guard from upstairs. There's a way better guard in there, so uh, size-wise, comparing the two, as you guys can see, I'm gonna try to line up the the handle. See a little bit longer on the um, on the Enron. The uh, blade is, I think, a little bit better on the Enron for me. It's just wider. It's just a little bit longer and. You know, I just like it a little bit better. So, uh, and, and like I said, the guard is a little bit better on the in run. The jimping is also there's a little bit of jimping, which I did in my review. This is not enough jimping, but jimping is good 
for the part that you have. If you get some good purchase on that little part of jimping, it, it's going to be effective. Uh, there's some jimping in here on the uh, the thing, the uh, the scales or the uh, the parts of the knife here on top, but you know it's not functional. So, but the jimping is there and it is better than the, on the uh, Kershaw Termite. But uh, overall, you know, it's a good blade. It's got a couple of faults. I would have liked to see a longer blade, uh, some actual jimping, and uh, a bigger, a little uh, longer and recessed, recurve um, flipper, so it acts better as a guard. So, and this thing is heavy. It's 4.8 uh, on my scale measure, 4.9 ounce, uh, ounces, and. Uh, you know it is a heavy knife in the hand it feels it feels okay you know it feels pretty good but the in run comparing the in run to that the in run feels a little bit better in my hand I, I got large hands so if you got smaller hand and the profile in the pocket is going to be a little bit smaller with the uh, and you get the deep carry pocket but the profile is going to be a little bit uh, smaller for the uh, termite the weight is going to be pretty much you know it's going to be heavier than let's say your uh, skyline or uh, any other knife and it's just a little bit uh, less heavy than the uh, Kershaw Kramer so uh, my favorite between this the termite the uh, Inron and the Tremor is uh, the uh, Kershaw Kramer first the Inron second and the termite third so because of that lack of finger guard here I know you don't have any uh, the finger guard is even worse on the trimmer but the uh, feel of the uh, pistol grip on the trimmer is just it just feels better it's my personal opinion so you, you guys might be different the opinion you, you guys might have different opinion on that but overall the uh, this knife is a good knife for the money but like I said right now the, the trimmer is on sale so you can get two crucial trimmers for the price of this termite so I know it's not just about money, it's about looks, it's about how you like it, it's about designer, it's about lots of stuff. But personally, I would rather get two Kershaw Tremor, which I love, I absolutely love, compared to this knife. So this knife cost me about $40 with taxes, so it's a little bit expensive for what it is, I think. You know, there's some design features that are pretty nice in it, but I don't know. The, uh, the pocket clips start to wear a little bit, the... Uh, the lockup start to to give a little bit, and I didn't play that much with it compared to my tremor. My tremor is still solidly in place and it's not moving. So, so this is uh, my overall score, which I'm gonna put in the description on this knife right now as it stands. It's gonna be a seven out of ten. So uh, I'm gonna bump it down 1.5 for my initial uh, initial likability skill. So my uh, did this uh, this review score is about uh, seven out of ten. So. Uh, Good knife, but for the money, I think it can get better. And I think this knife could stand to be improved. So uh, maybe a Kershaw Termite 2.0, I don't know. But longer, longer blade, maybe 4 inches. And um, 4, 4.5 inches even, you know. <laughs> this could be a great tactical knife, but there's only a few design itch glitch that I would like to see fixed before this is a great knife. So hope you guys enjoyed this review and see you guys on the next one.